Okay, here we have Miss Kiki. I was trying to decide for her first haircut here. So, I think they're 17, 18 weeks old. So if you have one from um, Kira's Litter and you're at the scrappy age where you just have this wispy uh, um, puppy fur and then uh, the adult fur, maybe a half inch long. So two ways, I can just cut it all by just putting my fingers through it and getting away with the long wispies. Or I was, I made one swipe on her stomach. Let's see. If I wanted to take the clipper. If I hold it more steady, I think I can get. I think this might leave it too short, but it's a good belly cut. And that is a number five C. So I'll use that for underarms, personal area. It's her first haircut, so she's doing pretty good. So I always like to start, if you've watched my videos before, before grooming a preliminary cut. So that's pretty much going through, getting off. It's just a quick, quick cut. And then I bathe them, and then I come back after they're blow dry and fluffed every, anything out that was matted. Then I give that final cut if you're shaking it off. Because if you are, if you bathe the dog with long matted fur, it makes the mats closer to their skin. So it's always best to have a, a brush out and a haircut before a bath. She doesn't move a lot, so I can just sit here and rather than holding each one with my fingers, I'm just eyeballing. This is not a very good scissor. It's getting dull. Feeling more comfortable? Mm -hmm. Huh, Kiki? You're like, what is she doing to me? You've had baths before, but not, not on a green table, other than a quick nail trim. like cutting close as possible back here on the privates. Just for cleanliness. You won't take long to dry after I have you cut. So I'll let you. Of course, my husband decides now it's time to mow, huh? <laughs> so this room here was actually is about a hundred years old, except that we put uh, ply 
plywood, I guess it is, on the walls. This was actually a machine room, so the floor is, I tried painting over it, but, you know, try taking a hundred years of grease and getting it off the floor so nothing sticks to it. In this room, hmm, of course, this is one of the first rooms that we built. So it's about 20 years old. So I wouldn't have to bathe all my puppies in the kitchen sink. See how it works for one dog, but when you have a lot, it's a lot easier to put them in here and then put them in a kennel for cage dry. We have some professional high velocity dryers going and they dry in no time. For you, if you're doing just with a regular blow dryer, she isn't going to take long with this short curly coat, but it would take longer. <laughs> Half the time my son doesn't wait when he comes here to groom his dog. He doesn't wait for it to dry. He puts it in his vehicle and takes her home. Let her run around outside. They dry very quick in the air. They're not quite all the way dry or just you know blow dry there at the end to make sure oh yeah up this looking good already let me show you what i'm going to do it wasn't nice of me to be over on the other side where i couldn't see you well you couldn't see me sorry you can tell i've already had two customers here today two puppies go home one had a coat like this this legend and I trimmed her before she went home. So, and the other one just needed a bath. So I'm already getting a little, running out of energy because my sugar levels are dropping. But when she gets in the blow dryer, then I can go get something to eat for lunch. So we're just doing her real quick. I'm not going to torture her too long before I put her in the bathtub. And then after she gets her blow dry, and then I'll go through and even out her coat again. That way, since it's her first trip to um, the grooming table here, um, I won't exhaust her. Once again, just cutting away this wispy puppy hair. How fast that goes. But with the curly coat here, she has more definition where I can see the um, length of that adult fur. And you see these ears. Mm. Just want to trim off some of the puppy fur. Yeah. Then when we uh, give you a bath, and you can see where the ears end through the light there. You can see the ears land, end, and I'm just taking away this wispy stuff. And then your ears are going to look so good. Nice and fluffy. Yeah. And then you'll be ready for adoption. What do you think about that? All our puppies go home. Fresh bath. And if they... Sometimes I try to leave them as long as I can. For as long as I can. So that you can actually see how long their coat is when you get here. Don't want you to think... 
always going to be that short. If you want a fluffy golden doodle. This one is from Kira. So Kira is about five, one quarter Irish. So her great great grandmother, I had made a fat litter, half golden retriever, half Irish setter, because I only breed with that English golden retriever heritage from my original English golden doodles I had, or golden retrievers I had here that I imported from Russia. And they are only cream and they've only have cream in their bloodline. So cream or white. So when you're uh, creating the breed, it's hard to get this dark, dark red color in here. So what we do is, uh, use dark red poodles for breeding and then the Irish in there to get some red color. There's no difference in the personality. I actually have a puppy from Joplin in my house, which is Kira's sister. So your first cousin is in my house. Yeah. And and along with two English golden doodles. And I cannot tell the difference in personality or coat type. So, I mean, if somebody asks what she is, I just say golden doodle just for saving time. Unless you're, unless you're here and ask, and then I might go into more detail. Because other than that, you will not know the difference. They're all sweet. They all obey me. Look at you just listening to me. Just listening to me as you are. Mm -hmm. For her eyes, let's show the eyes. We cut like this. V shape. Look at you just sitting there. Yeah. So this is preliminary cut. Irish, English, golden doodle. Now say, okay, so maybe I'll get this right here. Can you show up? Just V cut right here. And shape it down too. So uh, just so you can see more. Right, get that hair out of your eyes. Do you need any more hair out of your eyes? Mm -hmm. So that first puppy color is pretty simple. I'm just getting way rid of the long, long hair. And maybe you can look online and see her picture after her haircut and blow dry to see what she's looking like after I finish her. Cause after, uh, after her blow dry, I will brush her out. See, I can, and at that time, you know, I'll brush and brush and, and then I'll just take my fingers and see what's sticking up yet. So again, this cuts just to remove anything that could be matting. If I had a problem area, I would uh, cut it down. I'm taking very little fur off. There's like hardly any on the table. So at this point, you really even wouldn't need a clipper yet because you could have done the stomach. I just, faster. You could actually do her whole body with the five at this point and just let her grow out. But since you know, somebody coming to look at her may not be familiar with what the puppies look like when they get to this in-between stage, now she totally relaxed and stood up straight.
Okay, mm -hmm. so what I'll do then, we're not going to have to totally finish. Sorry, I'm in front of you. Now I will take this because it's just easier to brush now that I've had that adult fur, less the brush. This is called slicker brush. This one is a flexible head one. They're not all that flexible, but a little. You get that on Amazon. You can put it under flexible slicker brush. I've seen some with a black handle for like $20 the other day. These were very expensive with, when they first came out about 10 years ago. So there we are. I am Miss Beverly Eckert, the founder of Hilltop Pups. I've been doing this long enough, I don't actually put my fingers on there. Sharp little clips. Right here, since I brushed that out, I can actually get a very crisp line. for paws, and you can do this anytime. Um, take their paw back in a natural position. If you can see the paw, she has a lot of fur. We're gonna clip down from the paw so that you're not gonna clip the paw. And then out sideways. Groomers will also get this fur down here. You don't have to. I like to because no, no, no dirt sticking in there then. Plus, you know, they go out in the morning, go to the bathroom, they can come back in the house and their paws are gonna dry faster. But I cut, you can pull it up. You're gonna be cutting straight around anything that's sticking up above the paw. So you're, and then when they put their paws down, that will give you that nice little paw cut. If you can see it like that, nice little shape of the paw. But I am gonna bring this out and cut off puppy fur. So you always wanna Hold their paw forward. So uh, in a natural position, you don't want to hold their hold their leg in an awkward position. They're not going to let you handle them too long. And then put your leg down. You can put it down. You know, you want to give kisses now? Yeah, get you in there. Give your mommy good kisses. You like your mommy, huh? Someday you'll have a different family. Oh, you won't see this because I'm handling it in a different way. But we'll go back to the back. I'm going to pick it up forward and then lean the paw back. Get that long fur off that can drag on the floor. And just cup around their paw. And then you have a nice little cut. Bring that fur forward so I can see where the 
fur ends. I know you're getting very lazy. Now quickly finish this, give you a bath. You're gonna look so good. I can't wait. And I have grooming shears, of course, but how sharp household scissors will actually do the same thing. So I always stress on this first preliminary cut, doesn't have to be perfect. Because when you, uh, what would happen is, I've done this before, you know, in the beginning, uh, you know, I do the perfect cut, and then after they're blow dry, you have fur flying in different directions, and you no longer have the perfected cut anyway. We're going to be trimming away flyaways. And her tail, and... I love long tails because it just looks like their fur is fanning out, but right now it's just looking scrappy-doo. Mm-hmm. I'm getting you to look at her. She's like, ah, what's going on? I don't care, but I'm going to check this place out now. Go across the top. The puppy fur is now looking stretched out because when their adult fur starts growing the puppy fur stops but their bodies are still growing so she's probably doubled in size since her fur stopped the puppy fur stopped growing and then uh, that puppy fur is then stretched out across her body and that's why it's looking thin and There she is. Okay, I'll let you all go while I finish up this side and get you in the bath. Hi, sweetheart. We rub noses, don't we? Are you nose girl? Yeah. So they they love to uh come up to you and bump your bump you with their nose for attention. You're just gonna put your head on me and rest. It's okay. I'll just keep cutting away. Yeah, I'll just keep cutting away while you're giving me a hug. Sweetheart, mommy loves you. Yeah, well, this feels good, doesn't it? I was gonna shut off the video, but hey, if she's gonna hug me and just stand still. <laughs> you sighed, you funny. Mm -hmm. Your nose is cold. Yes, it is. Okay. Bye-bye.